Hey guys, and welcome back to my pose creation series. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some more advanced tips for making poses in Blender um, to make your poses look a little bit more natural. Uh, the first thing I'm going to start with is the facial animations, or to make a facial expression that um, conveys emotion, or you know how to actually move these joints, because I don't think I explained that in the last video. These are a little bit different than the rest of the joints on the body because you don't actually rotate them. You need to drag them around in order to uh, make a facial expression. So I'm going to start with the eyebrows because this is probably the easiest to do. All you have to do is uh, right click and hold on one of these joints. If you hold it for a couple of seconds then uh, you can let go and it will be able to move it around freely. And once you have decided where you'd like this uh, eyebrow to move, you just left click and it'll stop moving it. I'm going to repeat that over all these joints to raise these eyebrows up. Now it's important to uh, kind of have an idea of the expression that you'd like to make before you start making the pose. Um, I highly recommend that if you are having trouble um, understanding how the face moves with certain expressions that you go onto Google and just search Google images for you know a surprised expression or a sad expression to get an idea how all the parts of the face will move together um, so you know say if you're surprised your eyebrows are gonna you know, lift up unless you know you're unhappy surprised where they'll you know clench together so but for this one I'm just gonna be doing a happy surprised expression so I'm gonna be lifting the eyebrows up but part of that is also moving the um, eyelids because the eyes are going to be a bit more open. Now in the first video I showed that when you right click the eyes it moves the actual eyeball. But you might notice that uh, this doesn't allow you to move the eyelids. So in order to do that you actually have to click it again and again and again. There's actually several joints in the eyes and you'll notice if you go to look at the left hand side of the screen at the bottom it'll show you which joint you have uh, selected. So right now I just have the left eye, but if I click it again it says left eye up lid, which of course means the uh, upper eyelid. If I click it again it's the lower eyelid, and if I click it again it goes back to the left eye again. So right now I want to move the upper lid, so I make sure it's selected, and I want to double tap the R key and be able to move it up and down. So I'm going to move it so it's wide, and I'm also going to do the same for the lower lid. I'm going to lower them a little bit. So like they're like that. So now I'm going to move the mouth. Now in order to open the mouth you actually need to move a joint that's back here because as of course uh, this the rigs are actually designed fairly naturally so when you open your mouth you're you know moving a jaw joint and that's actually going to be back here in the head. There's actually two of them you might notice. There's one here and one here. This one seems to be a little bit more natural but uh, you might want to use both of them in order to, to combine their two movements to, to find what looks the most natural. So once I have that selected I can either move it by using R from this angle or I can look straight on and double tap R and be able to move it up and down. So looking straight on I kind of get an idea of how wide I'm opening the mouth. And I notice that doesn't really look all that natural from the side, so what I'm going to do is close it a little bit and use the lower one a little bit more instead. Like that. Now how to use pose the lips so that they look like they're smiling is very similar to how I move the eyebrows and that you drag them. So I'm going to drag them to the side and up a little bit because when you smile of course the corners of your mouth move upwards and I also want to move the top lip up a little bit to show teeth and move these downward to show teeth a little bit more too but to uh, give a little bit of a tip when creating smile expressions is you might notice that these this doesn't really look all that natural from the side and this is because when you smile your lips don't just draw out to the side they also draw backwards so in order to make it more natural looking you'll want to move 
So you're looking from the side of the face and make sure you have this selected. And an easy way to do this is you can either drag it or you can use these little dragging sliders on the side. So I'm going to use green one to move it on this axis and pull it back a little bit. You need to be careful not to pull it back too much because it'll start clipping into the teeth. But you'll be able to drag them around enough to get them back so that the smile is drawing backwards into the head. Oh, that's the wrong joint. So control Z to undo and make sure I'm dragging the select the correct one this time. So as you can see, it looks a lot more like they're smiling from the side now. Now that's obviously not perfect because uh the rig isn't going to give you ultimate control over every single part. So like ideally I would wish there was a, you know, a joint here to pull back, but there isn't. So what I'm going to do is pull this one here back. Oh, nope, still not doing that. Okay. Use the slider. So move it out to the side a bit more so I can draw it back. And you can even rotate these a little bit to try and get them to look correct. Now ultimately you'll want to uh, load this into your game to make sure that it looks correct, but for now I'm just going to assume that this is going to work. All right. So there we go. We have a uh, incredibly expressive uh, <laughs> pose here so far. Of course this is going to be up to your discretion because of course everyone likes various degrees of expression on their poses. Some people like very simple expressions and some people like me like to go on the cartoonish end of things. So just be kind of mindful about how far you're stretching things to the extreme because um, some people aren't going to really like something quite this expressive. Oh, and another thing you'll probably want to do is there are also other joints in the face you'll want to move up. So when people smile like this, usually their cheeks pull up a little bit. And there's also a little joint here for another part of the cheek that you'll move, want to move as well. Now the next thing I'm going to talk about is how to move uh, the arms properly because this one can be very tricky and I will fully admit even I don't get this right completely a lot of the time. It is very hard and um, there are probably a lot more people that are more qualified to show you how to do this properly, but I'm going to do my best so that you can experiment and try and learn it on your own. So let's say I want to have my arms raised over my head. Now when you're first uh, learning how to make poses, your first instinct reaction is generally just to raise the arm like this. But I'm going to tell you right now, that is not correct. <laughs> so when you're moving your p arms above your head, uh, I really highly suggest that you use your body um, you know, in real life and kind of raise your arms above your head and see what happens in all parts of your body. And you might notice that when you do that, your shoulder blades tend to move together because they are rotating a little bit as well. Um, and that is because of the clavicle right here in the center. So when I raise someone's arms above their head, I want to start from the clavicle and kind of raise it. And they might move back a little bit too, like that. So you'll notice the shoulders are raising without actually moving the shoulder joint, and that's very important. You'll notice that when uh, you move a lot of joints towards the center, they're going to move the rest of the body with them. So for example, if I was making a sitting pose, you know, I might move the bottom of the pelvis a little bit, and that's going to move all the legs forward more. This makes it a lot better for if you're doing a sitting pose, because if you work from just the leg, um, if you notice, if you go straight out and you open this in your game, there's going to be kind of a weird crease here. And it's still going to appear no matter what you do sometimes, but it's going to make it really decrease if you try and work from the inside and move outwards so that the crease is going to be minimal. So let's say I was doing a sitting pose. Right now it doesn't look too bad because I moved the bottom of the pelvis first. You don't want to move it too much because obviously you know, the body does not move like that, but for example, that is perfectly fine. And say, so there, and I now have a sitting pose. But 
of course you want to make sure that they're actually sitting nor near the ground so I'll grab the uh, the center of the rig point here the root key and drag them down like that so it now appears that they're sitting you want to make sure that the feet are parallel to the ground here if you hit you know the one key or the three key you'll get it nice and level to the ground so getting back to the arms because I obviously got a little distracted there um, after you move the clavicle then you can move these joints but I highly recommend moving it a little bit at a time so that you don't try and uh, you see you try and avoid creating a really odd crease because when you notice when you do an arm like that there is a little crease there which obviously is not natural so you might want to extend this as far as you can and then go back to the clavicle and raise up and then what you can do here is you can actually rotate the clavicle like this or you know if you double tap R from the front you can rotate it forward and get even more movement like that because when you notice when you raise your arms you're not just raising them up to the sides you're also rotating them kind of forwards so if you rotate forwards and raise up rotate forwards raise up rotate it's a very tricky process but you'll notice that when you make poses um, the most natural looking poses the ones that you make the very fine movements slowly is I actually think it's really important to do some spine movement in your poses um, don't ignore a lot of joints when you're making a pose because it's a lot more natural if you try and incorporate every single joint into the into your posture so for example here you know I, I have kind of an excessive rotation but you know people don't aren't always automatically you know absolutely straight all the time you know there's always going to be slight you know crookedness to how you're standing you know either either people are, are bent forward a little bit or um, you know bent to the side a little bit or they're kind of rotated a little so that you know one side of their body is leaning forward more than the other um, I highly suggest to make sure to check every single joint on your pose before you finish to make sure you're um, make sure that every single thing that you could have done to make a pose look natural is uh, is finely tuned so for example another thing other than just even the spine which I think is my my favorite one to kind of mess around with it's also the fingers um, even if you're just you know standing straight always make sure to have you know something done with the fingers maybe they're just slightly curved forward here I need to go back to individual origins maybe they're just slightly curved or slightly curved even in the other direction you know no no finger is going to be absolutely straight all the time unless you know someone is doing it purposefully but I think that isn't quite you know unless that is something that you're going for in your pose it isn't really all that natural and of course when you're going into the hand there's a lots of different joints on your thumb that you'll want to be really mindful of to getting a po getting the uh, joint movement to look natural the last little tip I want to show you for uh, making some advanced poses is there's one option on the Sims 3 plugins that allow you to change the way that the rig itself looks. Um, that's, this isn't for clothing or for hair. I'll show you how to change that in a later video. But uh, let's say I want to make a pregnant Sim or a fat Sim. Um, you'll be able to do this by the button over here that says Set Morphs. If you click that, um, some options are going to show up that you can uh, change and these are sliders so you can just kind of drag along them to change or you can change change their specific value uh, to something in particular by if you just click it once you'll be able to change the value but say let's say I want thin um, I'll set that and then I can hit OK and it'll change her thinness or I can go back and let's say I want a pregnant sim I can drag that and um, can drag it all the way 
I think uh, you can set it to three, or oh no, the highest is two. So, uh, so once it's set, you hit OK, and now you have a fully pregnant sim. So you can make uh, pregnancy poses. All right, so I think that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully that covers some um, details with uh, the with poses that you might be having a little bit of trouble with. Um, obviously this pose is not one I would probably release to the public because it does have a lot of flaws in it. I'm, I obviously didn't spend any time on the legs here and just kind of a, a rough overview of certain things you want to pay attention to. But uh, for now I think I'm going to leave it at that and if you have any questions make sure to uh, direct them my way on my Tumblr and I will try and give you some advice. So um, I'll be releasing a few more videos in the future but for now I hope you guys uh, were helped. See you later.